Hello, I'm Atsubo George. Now it's still the new year. Praise God. I, I hope this year is looking good already for you. Praise God. Now, how do you know the year is going to be good? It's not by waiting to see what will happen. It's the kind of information that you have received getting into the year. Praise God. You know, you're, you're, you're like one who has really prepared to go fight, you know, a, a, a battle, maybe a wrestling or a boxing match. The one who's really, really prepared. And then he, he's looked at his enemy. He's, he's, he knows all the weak points of his enemy. He doesn't go into that match wondering, I hope I will know. He's going into that more calculating. When this comes out, this is what I'm going to do. When this comes out, this is what I'm going to do. Now, that's how you should should be praise God now that's why I've been sharing the things I've been sharing with you how to begin the year or how to start the year praise God these things are very very important now I'm going to continue on that this week so so we we get solid in this truth and then surely the year is going to be a great year for you you know why because that's what God has already said concerning you that's what God has already written concerning you so in, on God's side, the year is good already. Praise God. I remember he knows the end from the beginning. Now, don't try to figure out the year by yourself. Just align with what the Lord is saying and what he is doing. And everything is going to be fine. Praise God. Now, I remember I said, the last thing I said to you yesterday and day before yesterday, about the, the, how to enter the year or how to start the year. He said, I said, you must recognize God as your source. Now, let me tell you something. Recognizing God as your source is not just a mental thing you do. It begins from you believing. I always say this. Now, none of us negotiated with God to come into this earth. No, there is no one that did that. Do you have any memory of going to God and saying, Lord, I think I want to go to earth. And then God now said, okay, we'll send you to earth 2020. Nobody did that, praise God. Now, and, and listen, listen. God was responsible for your birth. He was responsible for your conception. He was responsible for you coming into this earth. Now, if he, I said, how, how do I know God is responsible? Oh, oh, oh hold on. Who, who made Adam and Eve in the first place? God. Who told them be fruitful and multiply? God. Now, why would he tell them be fruitful and multiply without him making the necessary arrangement that will contain that fruitfulness and multiplication? Now, you are a result of that command that God gave Adam and Eve. And that's what we're still doing today. Now, listen. The Bible says children are the heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Meaning, God is the giver of children. And guess what? He doesn't just give you children and say, go sort them out. They are his heritage. You need to let this sink in your mind. You know, sometimes people go, eh, I, 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 I only want to have one child. Why? Eh, because, you know, so that I can... Um, you know, I will be able to take care of the child very well. Now, that's not necessarily um, should be your reason. You understand what I'm saying? No, not because you are, you are scared. If you have more children, you may not be able to take care of them. No, no, no. You need to come to this understanding. Number one, that children are the heritage of the Lord. Meaning they are God's property. Given to you to care for. Did you get that? Now, if a rich man gives you his child... Maybe a rich man works, he was your neighbor or, or somehow related to you. And he said, you know what? Of everyone I know, of everyone I know, you're the only one I can trust. I'm going to be traveling for 10 years to, to, to do something very serious. And I, I can't be able to have time to take care of my child. So I want to do this. I want you, because I trust you, I want you to watch over this child for me for these 10 years that I'll be away. Can you do that? Now... When such a person tells you that, you automatically know that your own life is about to change. You know why? Because now this person who's giving his child is a billionaire. 
I mean, he, he's got everything that you can think about. And now he says, watch over my child for me. Do you think for one moment that he's going to let you be thinking, struggling to get money for, to feed that child? Do you think he's going to do that? No, he won't. He's going to ask you, you know what? Anything you need, I'll give it to you. Praise God. So when God gives, you know, that's why I said, listen, understand that you receive children from the Lord. You receive them by faith. And then physically when they come, understand no matter how many. See, you don't just give back by accident. No, 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 no. You first of all know the mind of God. I'm talking to you because this thing is important. You get to know the mind of God. You know, I talk to young couples, you know, when I counsel them. Say, so, you know what? First thing you should do. You know, say when you're dating, you should discuss how many children do you want to have. You know, all those things. So, good, but listen, when you get married, one of the first things you should do is to seek the mind of God concerning the children that you're going to have. You know what I mean? Not just how many. No, no, Father, you, you present yourself before the Lord first of all. I say, Father, we, we, we've just got married. We've just gotten married. And we did it according to your word. So, Lord, we receive your reward right now. And Lord, we want to know what's on your mind concerning our children. And you know what you're asking for? You are asking the Lord to give you a child whose name is written in the book of life. Now, when that comes to you, guess what? You will never lack anything where that child is concerned and even you where you are concerned. Because when that child comes, when those children begin to come, they are coming with their own special and unique kind of blessing. Praise God. Now, we, we, we are talking about how to start the year. <laughs> Praise God. But you need, you need to, to get this understanding. Because what we're talking about, you knowing that God is your source. Now, I've got to stop here. But know what? We'll continue from here tomorrow. God bless you. Have a great day full of testimonies. Bye-bye.